Iranian state TV broadcast portions of an interview with Sakine Mohammadi Ashjani. She's the 43 year old mother of two, sentenced to death by stoning after being convicted guilty of committing adultery. And in the interview, she says she was also an unwitting accomplice to the murder of her husband several years ago. She also denounces one of her defense attorneys, Mohammed Mustafayi, saying that he attracted unwanted international attention to her case, also saying that they have never met before one-on-one. -on -one. We spoke with Mohammed Mustafayi here in Norway, where he was recently granted asylum after he fled Iran, and he says that Iranian authorities forced Mrs. Ashtiani to make this televised statement. The channel that we have in Iran is completely under the control of the intelligence ministry. The goal of this channel is character assassination, and the other goal it has through the production of documentaries full of lies and people's confessions is to justify the government's illegal actions. This is the case for Sakine Mohammadi as well. Because right now Sakine Mohammadi's life is in the hands of powerful people inside Iran. Mohammad Mustafayi carved out a career in Iran defending juveniles who were sentenced to death for a variety of crimes ranging from murder to sodomy. He says he fled the country after his wife was detained by police and put into solitary confinement for at least 13 days. He says in recent days, Iranian security forces raided his Tehran office, seized his computer, his hard drive, and his files. He says he's worried now about who will be able to provide legal protection to remaining clients, six people who were sentenced to death when they were still juveniles. Now, Iran ranks second in the world after China for the total number of executions carried out every year. Recently, the government of Brazil offered asylum to Mrs. Ashtiani to help her escape the death sentence by stoning. That's an offer that the Iranian government has rejected. Ivan Watson, CNN, Oslo.